What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfexi and welcome back today to Stardew Valley. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today, big changes on Ronald Farms. Oh my goodness, it is Wednesday the 3rd of fall here in year 2 and... As I kind of mentioned at the end of last episode, I wanted to kind of start a huge farm redesign. So, I haven't planted anything just yet. I didn't want to spend too long doing the farm and then not being able to, like, plant stuff. Um, so we're going to go straight to Pierre's. Wait a minute, is Pierre closed on Wednesdays? Uh-oh, if he is, that's going to be super annoying. But it means I can do a bit of work on the farm. So, you got to bear with me here. This is a work in progress and it will look much, much nicer in the spring and the summer. Fall is a really weird time to do this. And to be honest, we probably should have done it in winter when we would have all the space and nothing to grow. But we've started. We've started with the redesign, although everything is very orange right now because it is obviously the fall season. Things will make more sense when I start filling in the gaps. <laughs> so just before we take a little look at what I've done. Uh, oh, oh, it's Emily. Hey, how are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye. Wait, is that an emoji? Since when did Stardew Valley have emojis? I've never seen an emoji before, have I? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay, cool. So we got some cloth. Anyway, what I decided to do is I decided to kind of go with a wood and stone theme um, and try and like isolate different areas. You see, the, the thing about this farm is it's really, really strange because it's in lots of little islands. Uh, and it makes kind of designing things a little bit tricky. So we went hop mad in the summer. We've got loads and loads of hops. So like maximum yielding is not really something I'm too bothered about right now. I just want it to look quite nice. So I got rid of those double horrible starter sprinklers. We've got loads of them in our inventory now. To be honest, don't really know what I'm going to do with them. I have actually used a couple, which I'll show you in just a second. But we've got three planter bays here just for, for something. I uh, don't know what we're going to grow in them, but we'll grow something in them very soon. And then we've got another one just up at the top here um, because it's a bit of a weird space. And the problem is, is I would have liked to have had four, but we planted these fruit trees. And just because of how long these fruit trees take to grow, <laughs> I kind of don't want to get rid of them because they're, they're nice. There's a cherry tree. We've got a pomegranate and an apple. They get in the way, don't get me wrong. And they're really annoying, but what can you do? So I've kind of just gone with an offset one. I don't know what we're going to do here, but we'll do something. Um, so, okay. We've got four planting bays up there. Currently, I can't actually hoe anything, which is really annoying because my hoe is at Clint's. So we need to go and get that in just a second. Um, so yeah, we've got these plant bays here. And what I'm thinking about doing is in the like gaps and stuff, do you see here, sort of this, this thing of brown? I want to actually start using the grass starter kits to kind of make things look a little bit nicer. So as you can see, this is another area uh, which we have. And this one, once again, is kind of just a planty area. So we've got three of the quality sprinklers here. And then I thought, you know what? I might as well just throw in these as a little design touch. And so you've got just two extra spaces each side. Uh, because of the size of it and stuff, it's really quite difficult to work out the sizing and the spacing. So this is kind of the best way I thought I could do it. Uh, and over here, we've got a bit of a gap, which I thought was a bit annoying. And then I realized, hey, it can fit side by side preserve jars. So what I think we'll do is we'll craft one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more preserves jars and just have those going on the side because why not, right? Uh, so anyway, as you can see up here, this would normally be like a dirty spot, but I've planted some grass starters that we had left over. So I need to go and buy lots more of those. And I thought it would look really nice, especially in the spring and the summer when everything's really green. I think it would look really cool then. So once again, yeah, I was thinking about doing this and I've not really done too much on this side because I'm kind of thinking about maybe redesigning the coop or moving it or making it so it kind of fits a little bit better. But these things take a lot of time and I only had like two days to do it. So, <laughs> you know, I thought I did okay. I thought I did okay. So... Anyway, whilst I grab these beers, uh, I've changed the surround of these kegs. Now, it's another question once again, is do we actually just get a barn and use the kegs in there? Or do we persevere with this kind of keg thing? And also, I did... I was thinking to myself, I have this mod which automates stuff. So, for example, if I do... Um, here, let me show you. If I... You see these furnaces? So if I grab myself... And this is something that... I, we've had, but I had the wrong version, so it wasn't working. And I thought it was broken, but it's not. So if I grab my gold, and if I put a chest next to my furnace... I'm just going to show you. We're going to move these around. And I put the stuff in there. Ah. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. And I put the coal in as well. There. Do you see? It fills up 
uh, the furnace automatically and it automatically smelts whatever is in the chest. So this is part of a mod called Automation. And it was one that we've had since the very beginning, but it wasn't working. So I got that working, which is good. The only problem I'm having, though, is I thought it kind of fed, like, along the line. So, for example, what we could do, in theory, if I can figure it out, we could have all of our kegs auto-brewing hops, which will be taken directly from this chest. Of course, we do need to actually harvest them ourselves, but if I can figure out a way of doing it, because I think maybe it doesn't work if it's going sideways, but it might work going down. So technically, maybe if I put a chest here, then it would I could snake it. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with that. But yeah, anyway, so we need to make... Oh, and actually, I... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. What did I do? I got rid of... No! <laughs> I spent the wood that I was going to use on a keg on a chest. Ah, oh, we still need to make a few more of these. So, ooh, I think I missed a spot here. Boom! Yeah, we're going to have three more kegs there, and then just this area, I thought, you know what, why the heck not? It is autumn. Let's try and do some giant pumpkins. I think we can do giant pumpkins and giant melons. I mean, who doesn't like giant pumpkins and giant melons, you know what I mean? So, I thought maybe we could try and do this here. Uh, the only problem is I haven't been able to hoe the ground. So anyway, those are the changes that I've made. They look a bit weird right now because everything is very, very orange. And everything is not finished. But it's a work in progress, so do not fear. I will suss it out and I'll do some more and try and make it nice and pretty and stuff. But anyway, how is everyone doing? I hope you're good. As you can see, <laughs> it's been quite a busy, hectic couple of days here for me in Stardew Valley. Just trying to get some of this ready to show you. Um... But I think it's going to look good. And especially because this is fall. And then I bet he's, clo he's closed on Wednesdays, isn't he? PM! No! <laughs> oh, I am closed on Wednesday. Unbelievable scenes, man. I've been... I've been courting your daughter in good faith. I have also been giving you things very slowly. Because I don't really have fried calamari. But every now and again, I'll give you something. We've got three hearts. Oh, there's Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Oh, I tell you what. Let's go and get the hoe. So, that's really annoying because it means we're going to have to wait another day to plant some stuff. But, uh, what can you do? So, what I'm thinking about doing now... Oh, actually. Out of curiosity, Jojo Mart will be open. But how... Oh, there we go. Yeah! The gold hoe! Woohoo! Nice. So, we've got three of our four tools. I'm not going to do the scythe just yet because I'm going to need the scythe, I think. How much more expensive is Jojo Mart than... Pierre. I know it's a little bit more expensive. I don't actually think we've ever even been in, <laughs> to be honest. And we're one item away from shenanigans, but... Uh... Oh. So I think they might be slightly more pricey. Cranberry seeds, 300. Yeah, they're definitely a bit more pricey. How much are grass starters? So it's normally 100, but now it's 125. Uh, I'll tell you what. I don't normally buy from Jojama. I like to buy from Pierre, but Pierre is closed today. And I want to at least get something planted. So let's start with... Should we just do a massive load of pumpkins? Yeah, let's do that. Actually, on second thoughts, they don't sell quality fertilizer. At least I don't think they do. So if we're going to be doing this, I want to do it properly. And I want to get like a good yield. So I tell you what, we will wait that extra day. Don't really want to. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, oh, it makes more sense just to wait that one more day. Um, so let's do that. I've got some more grass starters, though. How many did I buy? I bought, I bought 30, uh, which is decent. I do also need to go and upgrade the coop because we do have the deluxe barn, but we don't yet have the deluxe coop. So we could do that. We could get some rabbits uh, and we could also have like the automatic thing on there, which would be really good. Uh, but it's a case of just sort of waiting to do that. So yeah, this is what I was thinking about doing. You see these areas that are a little bit sparse. I was thinking about sort of just kind of planting stuff. That looks a bit weird because there's a gap. Yeah, I don't think I like that. I don't like it here. I like it at the top. But I don't like it here. That just looks weird. Hmm. We'll roll with it for now. But that's probably going to change. But yeah, I like it sort of in these spaces. Because it can't spread. Which is great. So it'll like it'll keep its appearance. But it won't spread all over the place. Which I think... Horse! Get out of the way. Get out of the way. So I don't know if we'll be able to do it anywhere else. Uh, probably going to leave it for now. I suppose I probably could give some grass to these dudes. I mean, this is this is premium grade Joja grass, so don't you guys be greedy. I'm looking at you, chickens. Come on, come on. Oh, Pimbley, stop giving me sass. Oh God, everyone hates me. Pimbley DD. 
<laughs> Pimly double dip. Okay. Uh, yeah. Have these guys been fed? Oh, that would be why. Ah. I'm sorry, dudes. I'm so sorry. Have some grass. Well, it's a horrible, rainy, thundery day, but on the plus side, it's a good day for buying seeds. Pierre, my bank account is at your will. <laughs> oh, we're going to be dropping fat stacks here today. Okay. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, I, I want to have like a nice selection of different things uh, to keep it like nice and pretty. So obviously cranberries are something we're definitely going to be doing. And um, yeah, we're definitely going to be doing those. Um, but I mean, the main thing obviously is just the quality fertilizer. Now, apparently on one of the days, the woman in the uh, the desert, does she sell quality fertilizer like two or something like that? I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, this is going to be... Ooh, okay, we're going to be buying a lot of quality fertilizer, so let's just buy... Let's just go mad. Let's just buy 140 of it for now. I mean, we can always keep some, can't we? So we've got 25k left. Um, so what are we going to buy? So obviously I want to invest in cranberries. That's something that we're going to do. Uh, so how many plots have we got? Maybe four? Should we only do three? Hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way of doing this. Um, well, I'll tell you what. We can always have, like, a few extras, so... Let's buy 50 of those. We need to be a little bit careful with our money here, but we do have the beer coming through, so it's okay. Um, want to have some colour on the farm. I don't want to do grapes because they're, they've are they got the things and they're super annoying. Artichokes? I don't think... Have I ever grown an artichoke? I don't think so. Uh, yams are quite good, apparently. Pumpkins. Oh, pumpkins. Okay, pumpkins is going to be one that we need a lot of. So, ooh, are we going to run out of money here? Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Pierre, you're bankrupting me, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Okay, uh, 80 pumpkins. Should that be enough? I'm not sure how many spaces we got with our things, but you know what? I'm going to buy a few more. Ah, oh, it's going to be an expensive, expensive investment, but it'll be worth it. We'll get some more money back in return, so it'll all be good. Um, okay. I mean, I think, to be honest, that's probably all I can really afford right now. Actually, you know what? We've got a few more extra spaces. Let's buy some yams. Uh, let's buy 16 yams, and let's buy... Should we buy some pop choy? <laughs> Why not? Let's buy eight pop choy. Okay, so we've got a ton of farming to do now. We've got loads of things to plant. Don't worry, our beers are going to be ready. And of course, we do have a big yield of star fruit, which is coming at any moment. Well, not any moment, but it's going to be coming at some point this season. Uh, so that's going to be a huge payday. That's going to be awesome. Uh, but yeah, this is this is exciting. This is exciting. Far Ronald Farms 2.0 is just about to happen here. So... I mean, I'm sure you guys know what happens now. We, we get some serious seedling doing thingamajiggy. We, we get fertilizing all over the shop. We've got quality fertilizers here. Uh, so I think we're going to do our cranberries up here. This seems to be the always place that we always put the berries. So I think it's probably a good way of doing it. So let's go and stick these here. It's going to be awesome as well when all the, the plants and the green are out because it's going to look really nice and colorful. Ooh. Boop. Oh, yeah. And I also raise the sprinklers up on um, little pieces so that when I use the hoe... They don't just, like, flop off, which is super annoying. So, okay, there we go. Boom. We've got some cranberries planted. Should we go and put more cranberries up here, or should we do something weird? Hmm. Yeah, I think we should put just cranberries up here for now. So let's go like this. Let's put some more cranberries down here. Fantastic. Okay. That's looking good so far. Um, We've got some more seed beds and areas to do. So we've got four lots of cranberries. What should we do here? Hmm. We should... We've got some yams. I'll tell you what we're going to do. 8, 16. Oh, we've just got... Oh, hang on. No, we're going to be two cranberries short. Oh, no, that's really annoying. Wait, are we? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, we should have bought 20. Ah! <laughs> that's super annoying. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do cranberries in these. Like that. I know this is... Oh, no! I forgot to put fertilizer down! No! Okay, well, never mind. They're just going to have to be rubbish cranberries. Uh, all right, well, let's go and fill in the rest here. So let's do some yams, maybe. Um, we do it like this. Let's put yams around the side, like that. Let's put yams around here. And basically, I'm going for a pretty farm, because I think for all the other times when we've had a farm, they've never really been that pretty. Let's do some pok choy. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, these are going to look so cool when they actually, like, pop out. I'm excited. And, oh, yeah, I put a couple of extra seed beds here. Uh, I don't know what we're going to be doing with them, but uh, we'll see. So, anyway, I need to go and hoe all this out. Uh, the cool thing is, though, because we've got the gold hoe, we can kind of do it in squares. Um, but, yeah, okay, bear with. 
Oh, that's super annoying. So when I move this down, because it's such a big space and they all require, you know, two. One, two. I think I've done this right, haven't I? One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Wait. One, two. One, two. Yeah, I think. One, two. One, two. I think that's right. Got two here. Got two spaces here. Two spaces here. Two spaces here. But yeah, this little piece of land here at the bottom sticks out for no reason whatsoever. Ah, it means I can't hoe this area. <laughs> okay, that's that's actually really annoying. Um, oh well, not very much we can do about it, unfortunately. So we might redesign this one again at some point. Um, the good news is though, we'll, we'll be able to get like a decent amount. It's just it's a bit of a shame because it sort of wastes an iridium sprinkler if I can't get into the corners, but. Not very much. I think... oh, that's really annoying. I should have realized that. Oh, well, never mind. Um, so are we going to run out of quality fertilizer? We might have a couple more pieces. Ah, might have a couple more pieces in the chest somewhere. Okay, well, there we go. We've got all of our pumpkins down. We've got our eight left over, which um, that's really annoying with this corner. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it because there's a tree in the way. But like this orange piece here, it kind of goes like that and it sticks out here. Now, annoyingly... I'm not actually sure why this is the case, but you can't move this type of land. Like, it just doesn't... It just doesn't go away. Uh, and I don't think we can do anything about it. So that's annoying, but you live, you learn. We might have to do the Iridium Sprinkler system, like, somewhere else. I mean, there's not many big places. I think this is the biggest area we've got on our entire farm. And if that doesn't fit, then we might have an issue. I mean, the, it would fit technically, but I wanted to kind of make it design designy. So technically, if we would have moved it up a couple of spaces... It would have worked, but hey, uh, I've got two more spaces here. I don't know if I want to do cranberries in them or pumpkins. So I was thinking I might wait until I can get a little bit more cash and then maybe put like double pumpkins. But I don't know. We'll see. So I think so far so good. We've got all of our crops planted. It's a really wet and windy and miserable day today. Oh, Ha 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 So do you remember this automation thing that I was showing you? Look at that. It actually puts the gold bars inside the chest for you. But another thing which is really good is it works with any type of uh, producer. So what I want to do now is if I can get a little bit more wood, you can actually put it inside your uh, mushroom cave. So what I could do is... Ah, yeah. We're going to be selling the beers. We're going to be selling those. Uh, what else can we sell? I don't want to sell any more of this stuff. Yeah, we can actually technically put two chests in our mushroom place and it will auto collect the mushrooms for us, which is a really, really nifty feature. So we do need to get a little bit more wood in order to do that. So it's a horrible, wet and windy day. I'm just going to go and get some wood and uh, I'm going to put some chests down. Hopefully it'll be sunny tomorrow. Okay, so check this out. Hopefully this is going to work. Um... And let's get some space here. So if we do two chests, uh, so uno and dos, and then we go to the uh, place here. If we put one right there, boom, it collects those. And if we put one right there, boom, it collects those. Yeah, look at that. So basically every time there'll be a mushroom in here now, it will actually give us um, uh, the mushrooms and it will store in there. So, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm quite bad with these and I always tend to forget to harvest them, even though they're there. So that's really going to help. Now, if I can just figure out how best to do it with the kegs, we'll be able to get some kind of auto brewing going. Our star fruit is coming along quite well. We've got this space here. Oh, these aren't ready, are they? No. Okay. So yeah, I've got this space here, which I was thinking I might just leave it for the ancient fruit. We do have some more star fruit, but because it will be growing at a different time, I might just leave the space there for now. Um, but yeah, we'll see how things go. All right. So I think it's about time. We went to sleep, and in the morning, hopefully... I love the way that it actually takes the iron bar. So would it technically, if the chest... If we could work out a way of linking them all up, would it take the beer out as well? <gasps> Ooh, I'm curious now. I am really curious. I'm going to try and figure it out. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So, if we go to sleep, we can actually get some money back, because <laughs> we've got 1,700. I was so rich a couple of episodes ago, now I'm just stony broke again. Unbelievable. 17k. Okay, well, that's going to be enough for a few more crops. We've got two more grow beds. I might just buy some more cranberries, to be honest, and maybe just put the cranberries in there. Because cranberries, like, they, they're they pretty good money. And there we go. Yeah. Okay, that looks really pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. 
I'm hoping like, you know, when the colors and stuff come through, it's gonna look really nice. Yeah, I'm happy. I like that a lot. So I was a little bit unsure at first, but I think the more you look at it, the more it grows on you. And uh, I think I'm going for a pretty farm. Like I'm not too bothered about it being like the best yielding thing in the world, but oh, I shouldn't have done that without planting stuff because I've lost quality fertilizer. Ah, oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? We can always buy some more. But uh, yeah, there we go. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Uh, what I think I'll do is I'll probably just plop about for a few more days, try and get some more cash together. I'm going to try and figure out this automation mod as best as I can. We do also have another mod, which is another type of automation mod, but it's slightly different. So I don't know which one's going to work best. Well, we can try them both, but I need to pay for the other one. I need 100,000 gold to unlock it. Uh, but there we have it. So our pumpkins are growing. Our crops are ready. Our farm redesign is sort of taking shape. I think it's going to change a lot, but for now anyway, it'll do. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Stardew Valley done fun. I've just realized this is the wrong sprinkler. <laughs> but until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantio!